Hello. Okay, there's still builders outside. So I might have to do this as a voiceover at a later date, but we'll see. Also, I'm gonna do all my skincare first and like all my base because last time I did that all on camera and it took so long to edit. So yeah, um, I've already done my eyebrows, but I thought I got this today in the post. So I thought I'd film myself actually carving out my brows with this because it's a new concealer. Wow, you really can't see anything there. It's P. Louise. I'm sure everyone is aware of P. Louise makeup. Oh, Christ, not again. I can never open anything. <laughs> I can't tell if it's my acrylics or if this is just really, really top packaging. It's one of those, like, resealable things. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, oh. Yes. I'm in. So I picked up two of the bases because I'm usually, well, I usually get a 0 0.5 in the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, which is what I currently use to carve up my eyebrows. But I didn't think, I didn't know if it was going to be way too light, so I also got a 03, which is, yeah, 0 0.5 and an 03. Um, it looks like it's already been opened. Can you see that, like, residue of makeup on there? Weird. But yeah, they're the two shades. So I definitely think this is the one I'm going to use, and this is probably going to be more for, like, natural looks. Um, and it also came with a brush, so I got these because it was like on offer, you know, the big up to Black Friday, and I've always wanted to try it, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. So yeah, it's just their like flat brush. Yeah, I'm going to use 05. Um, also, last night I had a bit of a dilemma with, with a spider incident, so I was literally about to go to sleep and I pulled my curtain across and then I just saw this like big spider run across my curtain and I was like oh Christ so me and my housemate basically like turned over my room because it disappeared under my bed to try and you know find it so I could actually sleep but we didn't find it we found another one instead which was smaller but I, I kid you not this spider was quite big like it was a big boy so I'm really on edge I didn't really get much sleep last night I just had this fear of it like crawling over me whilst I'm asleep um, so yeah, I'm really on edge and I, I'm sat on the floor, so if you, if I jolt up or anything, it's probably because I've seen it or it's like on me. But anyway, so yeah, I've just made sure this brush is pretty much like soaked in it. Um, and I'm just going to carve out my brow, so. Oh, you can't really glide this brush, it's more of a stamp. Oh, it glides better that way. Wow. This is definitely like a brightening one. Yeah, I think this is gonna be really good for like under eyes as well. Hopefully it doesn't like crease too much, but we will find out. It smells something. I don't know, almost like a chalky-ish smell. Wow, that's literally just like, yeah, got rid of like every single thing. I'll put it on my um, eyelids as well, because you can see my eyelids are really like veiny. So that would be a good test. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this eyebrow. This is when I like can proper see how wonky my eyebrows are. I'm trying to work on it, but when I was younger, I just like over plucked them because I thought I could do it. And then obviously I did them wonky and I've been paying for it ever since, but they're a lot better than they used to be. I'm literally just gonna put the remainder of whatever's on that brush on my eyelids. God, this is quite thick. I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to like go over that. Oh, yeah, I really like that. Don't know if you can, I can, should probably zoom you in, but I mean, you can still see, but this is where obviously I've not put as much product on, but where it's right under my brow, it's blurred. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna put the other one on my hand just to compare. Christ. Yeah, that's a lot darker, actually. Do you know what? That's actually like, I reckon I could use that as like a little bit of a contour shade. I still feel so on edge that this spider's just gonna like jump out at me. I wanna do like a, a cut crease because I also wanna see how this concealer goes over eyeshadows. And I wanna do like some kind of graphic liner, but I still have to do like my food shop and stuff. So I don't wanna be too mental with my makeup. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do one eye off camera, just do it and then come back and show you what I've done. Because I filmed a video before and I literally did every element of my makeup like on camera, filmed it and oh my god it took so long to edit it's currently on 42 percent yeah the video itself is like 42 minutes long it's a long watch and i think 
me personally, YouTube videos, I prefer watching short ones, like 15 to 20 minutes. But I've edited it, so I thought I'd upload it anyway. But I'm going to try to keep this one short, so I need to stop rambling on. Um, but yeah, I'm literally going to do it off camera, I think. And then I'll come back, just because then I know what I'm doing and I can probably go through it a bit quicker. So yeah, I'm going to try and paint something on this eye, and then I'll be back. So... I ended up going purple and just sticking to the graphic liner but I kind of did like an ombre, it goes like pink into purple and it like gets darker. I'm just going to try do this again on this eye. Once I've done like my face makeup I'm going to put like a pop of purple on the bottom lash and some like glitter in here. So what I did, what did I do? Oh that's creased so I tell you what I'm going to zoom in actually. It's a bit easier to see. I'm just going to pop some more of this. P. Louise base in 05 on my eyelid again. And then what I did was I set that colour because obviously I'm only really doing like the liner. So I don't really want this colour to budge underneath. So I'm using the New Nude Huda Beauty palette. Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty, I think. And then I'm just using a Spectrum B04, which is just like fluffy. And I'm taking the shade Bare, which is, please excuse this. Um, the first one. So I'm literally just going to pop that over. And all the building works have started. So sorry if you can hear tools and stuff. So yeah, did that and then I took like a clean fluffy brush with nothing on it, which this is section B06 and then I just like dusted that. And then I have these liners. Um, they're from Barry M. They're the High Viz liquid eyeliners. So what I did first was like kind of map out the liner completely with this one and then I went in with the darker and lighter colours. I'm just going to start on my lower line. So I just kind of drag that to the corner of my eye. And I feel with these ones you need like a double layer but I'm going to pop eyeshadow on top of them anyway. So this is just like a rough base to begin with. I'm just going to do like a medium length. Mm, that's quite long actually. And then I'm just going to come back on it. Can I just try and match it up? I'm just gonna go a little bit above my crease and just like follow it round and then start to like curve it down towards my wing and then like join them up. So like that. I'm just gonna play around with it until I get like the same shape. Okay, so I went a little bit thicker on the top here so I'm just gonna use a thin brush. These are literally paint brushes but they're really good for getting into the little places so just literally taking that same P. Louise base again and I'm just gonna like use it as a razor so then I made the darker part by taking another one of those like little paint brushes and I've got this face paint oh, let me... Whoops. it looks like this I mean it's a bit dirty because I've been like mixing the purples together but it's really good and they're like, you get a lot. It's not too much money, I don't think. Um, but yeah, literally, I just like wetted one of these little paint brushes. And then I'm taking this like purple shade, the darker one. I literally just went like back over right at the end. And then I mixed like the that purple colour with the white to obviously make it like a lighter shade to try and create like the ombre effect into this purple. And just like kind of went a bit back and forth a couple of times. So it's like I'm trying to get a fade. And then at the bottom as well. And then I took the pink high vis. <clears throat> Give it a shake. Liquid liner. And then just literally do the inner corners. I just realised you literally can't see that. But yeah. You get the gist. I'm just going to keep going back and forth. And then I'll set it with... I'm just going to continue with this palette because to be honest, all of these shades is exactly what I wanted. Like the purples and then pinks and the darker purple. So next, what did I do? I used this little brush. Which is another Spectrum. It's an A... 13 um, and I went into lace which is this one here and just literally gonna dab it over the middle part the like lilac-y part just to set it 
and then I'm going to go back over again with the liners just to give it like an extra pop I use another smaller brush this is like a real techniques one but I don't know it's like rubbed off but it's literally just like one of their really small eye definer brushes it's not gonna focus um and then i went into love bite which is this darker purple here and just same again but on the end they didn't look too bad to be fair like different shapes or anything cool um and then for the pink i used another little paintbrush bless you and i went in with play which is like a peachy color please excuse the state of this but yeah it's more of a peach um, and I just went over that pink. It's really not showing up on camera like that pink, but it does look a lot more vibrant Ow. in person. Oh god, my eyes twitching. I'm gonna clean up that bit there so it's like sharper. Going over these until they match up. And now, yeah, I just need to like go in with the liners again. So I'm just literally going to clean up in the middle and then I'll clean up here once I do the rest of my face makeup. But yeah, that's kind of how I've got the shape anyway. So once again, that little tiny brush with that base, I'm just going to clean up. I was fine with like graphic liners, concealer is definitely your best mate. Just to sharpen it up. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how I've got my liner shape. I'm just going to zoom back out now. So it just kind of gives me a winged effect. I think I'm going to go, I'm just going to do my base um, makeup and then I'll come back to finish off the eye, pop lashes on and stuff like that. So yeah, see you in a minute. Okay. I'm back. I look a little bit different now. Um, I'm just going to leave this to bake basically whilst I finish off my eyes as well. There's people talking outside so sorry if you can hear that. Yeah, I'm liking how it looks now. I've kind of got my base down. It doesn't look as crazy. The only thing I will say actually is in here where I've gone back in to clean up. It's like proper gone patchy. But luckily when my eyes are open you can't see. So I think with this base like, I think I'm just going to read up on how you're actually meant to properly use it. Just because I feel like my other concealer never usually does that but it may just be the way I'm using it so I'm gonna watch a few vids after this yeah so I don't know whether to do just the purple along the bottom or carry on the ombre so I'm gonna go back in again with a nude palette into that one the light li lucky li one I'm actually just gonna dab into it and start off here in the middle up to the end. I'm just going to do the same on this side. And then I'm just going to use that same brush because it's a proper good little smudger um, and go back into play. So the colour I like put over this pink. I don't know. I think I might build it up a bit actually. So it's a little bit more pink. I'm going to use... What am I going to use? So yeah, we'll use this. So this is the this is the Revolution Neon Shadow Palette in Not A Dream. It looks like that really nice I think it's like six pound which is really good for like nine shadows oh my god that shouldn't have taken me that long but yeah I'm gonna use that same brush and go into this one here they don't have names so it's number eight yeah that's a lot better so I'm just gonna work that in there a little bit cool and then yeah I'm literally just gonna that's what I'm gonna do and then just go back into that lace again a little bit. Okay, and then that Love Bite, which is the darker purple I used. I'm going to use a tiny bit on this little corner. God, it looks so weird when before having like lashes on. So, highlighter, I'm just going to chuck some of that on. This is so odd. It's like a, it's a Sephora palette, but it's so broken. And I've like hit pan on two of them. But I'm going to use this colour, which is like a champagne-y. I don't think it's got a name, no. Like a champagne -y colour with a Sigma E35, which is just quite a big, like, fluffy brush. But I'm feeling quite a lace down highlighter today, if you get what I mean. Like, I don't want it, like, all over my cheek. I kind of just want to keep it here. I am just highlighting my spots, but oh well. And then just a bit above here. Even though my forehead 
is massive and I shouldn't be bringing attention to it but oh well. <laughs> um, Christ, no need to shat. And then I'm just going to use a Morphe M124 which is got a hair on it. It's just a little flat brush with that same highlighter just to go down the bridge of my nose. don't know why I'm all of a sudden doing like my base on camera. I was just going to do my eyes but... So I need to just dust off this. Dust this off. I don't even know if that does anything but I still continue to do it. Blending in my highlighter I've just put on. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I think the only thing I'm going to do now is I might pop a little bit of glitter in here. I haven't actually used this one yet and oh, I'm going to really struggle to get this off. Or am I? <gasps> yes. I love it when things have the actual... Um, I don't know what it's called. The like where they cut it out for you. That's that's why. So it's like easy to get off like that. Like people who don't do that on your brands, you need to seriously consider people with acrylic nails because it's impossible to get things off. But yeah, anyway, this is the NYX Glitter Brilliance. It's like a face and body glitter in GLI07. I don't know whether to pop some like glue down just to proper stick it to the inner corner. So this is a collection glam crystal liner. This would look quite nice actually, just like over the top of my liner, but I think I'm just gonna keep the glitter to the inner corner. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop some of this here. It will just like give it something to stick to. So yeah, then I'm just gonna go in with some of this glitter on a little pointy brush tiny one. This is another real technique. So I'm just going to tip some into the lid and place that down where I've just put that. I hope this is picking up on camera. Yeah. Cute. Just gives it a little... I don't want to do too much. Like, like I said, I've still got to go do my bloody food shop just have a mask and then be, people be like Jesus a bit OTT for a food shop but who cares what people think who cares I think that's everything I'd usually do for my face as well apart from obviously lips and then mascara and lashes so I'm just going to set all of this I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter give it a shake and then literally I'm going to go in as well with the, if I can get into it, it's the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go. But this just like gives me more of a, I'm just going to spray it a few times because I haven't, there we go. It gives me more of a glowy rather than completely matte finish I believe. And then I'm just going to set my brows so I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. power tools. I think I've just kind of like um, blocked them out so god knows how long they've actually been going on for. And then yeah I'm literally just going to put some lashes on now. So I'm just going to clean up everything around me because I'm currently <laughs> surrounded by makeup um, and then I'm just going to leave out yeah, my, my like mascara and lashes stuff and then I'll come back and do that on camera. Okay, so I went and popped this lash on just because I wasn't sure what style was going to kind of go with this eye. So I started off with quite a thick lash and it just didn't go. So I'm quite happy with this one. But yeah, I just literally went and did that and then I'm going to just show you what I did. It's quite simple, but yeah, it's just like a, it's a lighter lash than usual. And for the life of me, I don't know what lashes these are. I know they're an eye lure, um, but yeah, they look like this. Wispy, but they still give you like volume. Um, and I'm just using the glue that comes with them. It's just like the eye lure because it's a clear one. So yeah, literally I'm just going to coat that on there and whilst it's drying, I'm just going to take my mascara. So this is a Scandalize Reloaded and I'm just going to coat my natural lashes um, just so they blend in better to the lash. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do like too thick. I just want to coat them so the lash blends into my lash and also where the like purple and pink liners kind of dyed my lashes i'm just trying to cover that up because when the false lash is on it will like show up pretty well yeah i hold it like this just at the end and then i'll kind of place it as close to the lash line as possible and just like pop it on to begin with and then literally 
just try and match it up to the corners and then I use my finger to like, tap it into my lash line and then use the tweezers to get the inner corner and same again just once that's kind of dried um, I'll be able to like go in and pinch but at the moment where the glue's still wet if I pinch now when I like open up my fingers the lash will just like come with it so I'm just going to let it dry for a bit um, I'll tell you what whilst it's dry I'm just going to do my bottom mascara so I'm just going to use the extra super lash by Rimmel London I just like the wand for doing my bottom lashes it's quite like a thinner one but yeah I'm actually just going to do a coat yeah I quite like how this has turned out you know considering I had no idea what I was going to do before I sat down I'm going to go in with a bit of mascara to cover up those lashes that I can still see pink and purple. Okay, so that looks a lot more blended to me. So yeah, literally, bottom mascara on this eye, like that. I'm just going to go back over these ones again. I'm just going to do my lips now as well. So I don't want a heavy lip. I'm just going to go in with uh, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. Um, and this is in the colour Free Spirit looks like this so it's like a nudie pink um but yeah i'm actually just gonna line my lips i really like these lip liners they're just so smooth to like apply and then just on top of that i'm gonna go in with the what brand is this oh l'oreal paris uh color richie matte in 633 it's like rubbed off excuse the state of my fingers oh my god um but i'm literally just gonna fill in those gaps like so and then just go back in again with the liner and then also just to clean up i take my so this is a smaller brush i usually apply concealer with um, but obviously I wanted to use the P. Louise one today. So this is a Spectrum A16. And I just go around the edge to clean up. And then I just go back in with that brush I used to put my nose highlighter on. And just kind of get that back on my Cupid's bow again finish it off I'm just going to put a little bit of lip gloss on so this is the elf retro paradise gloss in a moment yeah I'm happy with how this has come out there we go so I'm just going to take my clips out but yeah so this is the finished look thanks for watching this hopefully this video is a lot shorter than my last one I filmed so but yeah like subscribe thank you so much for watching and yeah hopefully see you soon in another video bye